probe calibration. New pH probes need to be calibrated before installation and also every 30 days during operation. To begin this process, rinse the probes in fresh water. Place the EC probe in a 2.77 EC calibration solution and place the pH probe in a 7.0 pH calibration solution. Wait for the monitor to achieve a stable reading and then press and hold the pH cal button until pH cal appears on the screen. When the monitor returns back to the normal screen, remove the pH probe from the 7.0 solution, rinse in fresh water, and place into the 4.0 pH solution. Again, we want to wait for a stable reading. Press and hold pH cal until pH cal appears on the screen and wait for the screen to return back to the normal readings. Your pH probes are now calibrated. Before installing the probes into the monitoring loop, wrap them with Teflon tape five full wraps in a clockwise direction. Do not over tape the threads as this will put excess stress on the PVC fitting and could result in the cracked fitting. When performing your 30 day calibration, remove all of the previously installed Teflon tape before retaping the probes. A pick or small wire brush is a helpful tool to remove the old tape. The EC probe does not detach from the monitor. I like to pre-twist the wire four to five times in a counterclockwise direction before installing so that when we're tightening the probe into the monitoring loop, it does not leave the wire twisted up when finished. This results in a cleaner installation. The pH probe typically does not require any hand tools for installation. With the wire detached from the monitor, thread the probe into the monitoring loop by hand and once snug, reattach the cable end into the monitor. Note that the pH probe cannot be left in the monitoring loop without water in the loop. Remember the old saying, if it dries, it dies. Thank you.